infiltration infiltration is the process by which water enters the soil from the ground surface once the water enter into the soil then percolates down ultimately that water reaches to the ground water table the water movement within the soil is known as percolation therefore the infiltration as well as percolation both are interrelated terms here uh, infiltration cannot continue for a long time unless percolation uh, removes the water whatever water entering into that soil that water should be percolates down then only infiltration will continue if there is no percolation there is no that infiltration cannot continue long time other words if there is no infiltration there is no percolation so that these two heads are interrelated here infiltration is a quite important in hydrological studies infiltration is responsible for surface and uh, ground water flows so here another point the infiltration rate is used for the computation of uh, water loss due to infiltration for the determination of uh, surface runoff so here infiltration capacity infiltration capacity the maximum rate at which water can enter the soil in a given condition is infiltration capacity here the actual rate of infiltration is equal to the infiltration capacity of the soil when the rainfall intensity is more than or equal to the infiltration capacity of the soil is it clear that means for example if the infiltration capacity of the soil is 10 mm per hour but the rainfall intensity is 15 mm per hour the actual rate of infiltration is only 10 mm per hour because the infiltration capacity of the soil is 10 mm per hour but remaining 5 mm per hour that water will be flows above the ground surface that is known as surface runoff or otherwise the intensity of rainfall is less than the infiltration capacity of the soil for example the infiltration capacity of the soil 10 mm per hour the rainfall intensity is 8 mm per hour the actual rate of infiltration is uh, not 10 mm per hour only 8 mm per hour because the rainfall intensity is less than that uh, infiltration capacity of the soil right here this is the equation here actual rate of infiltration equal to infiltration capacity of the soil when the rainfall intensity is uh, more than the infiltration capacity of the soil when the rainfall intensity is less than the infiltration capacity of the soil the actual rate of infiltration is uh, only in rainfall intensity then Hartens equation right this uh, Hartens gives the equation for the estimation of infiltration rate at a time at a given time right here we know that the soil is at a dry state so once the rainfall started on a particular area the percolation is too high the rate of infiltration is too high because the soil is in dry, dry condition once that rainfall continues for a long time gradually the infiltration capacity reduces because the soil is saturated condition ultimately reaches to a limiting value that is known as a limiting rate of infiltration that is denoted by fc this FC limiting rate of infiltration depends upon the permeability of the soil. If in here clayey soils having different permeability and sandy soils having different permeability, but here the clayey soil have capability to store the water, but the permeability capacity is very very low. Whereas in case of sandy soils also having store the water, but these are having high permeability so that that the limiting value limiting infiltration capacity of the soil depends upon the permeability of the soils so Hartens give the infiltration equation at a time t that is ft rate of infiltration at a time t equal to limiting infiltration plus initial infiltration that means at the dry sand condition at starting of the rain initial infiltration minus limiting infiltration e power minus kt t is at time t at the beginning of this time you are going to take 0 after 5 minutes you are going to take 5 minutes after 10 minutes you are going to take uh, at place t 10 minutes after 30 minutes you take time 30 minutes k is the constant that is depends upon the type of soil right these three parameters limiting 
infiltration rate, initial infiltration rate, as well as K value, these three are the depends upon the type of soils. So here, uh, in this equation, what we have observed, uh, once you see the diagram here, this is the time that starting time zero hours, and gradually time increases. And the starting of the rainfall, the infiltration rate is too high. This is the infiltration capacity. This is the infiltration rate. The infiltration rate, that initial infiltration rate is uh, too high. That is uh, F0. Gradually rainfall continues for a long time. What is happening? The infiltration rate gradually reduces because the soil is at saturated condition. That continues uh, uh, like this after some time that are reaches to limiting value. That is nothing but limiting rate of infiltration. This depth is nothing but a limiting rate of infiltration. This is a, a varies from soil to soil. So here what we have observed based on this equation, here the infiltration rate is too high, here the infiltration rate is a limiting value. That means the high and low, not this is the average value. Here high value, this is the low value for the estimation of runoff or infiltration capacity that are used for any uh, construction or design of any uh, uh, reservoirs or dams, we should know the average uh, rainfall intensity capacity, average rainfall intensity. So that this equation gives only here maximum and uh, limiting value. This is not applicable for the estimation of for the design of reservoirs by using this infiltration capacity rate then they have uh, introduced two tariffs that is one is pi index uh, uh, another one is the w index before going to discuss about these two indexes pi index w index is also known as infiltration capacity of the soil but this is average uh, infiltration capacity of the soil the two heads gives the average infiltration capacity of the soil whereas in case of hard times they have given high infiltration rate here and reaches to limiting rate here then now we are going to discuss about what are the factors affecting the infiltration capacity of the soil right here first one is the soil moisture already i told you when the soil is at dry state the infiltration rate is too high because uh, there is no water in the soil once the rain started uh, that infiltration rate gradually reduces because the soil is at uh, saturated condition and then the second uh, 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 factor is that the type of soil media the infiltration rate depends upon the type of soil texture and the amount of clay and the amount of thickness and depth of the permeable layer. Depth of the permeable layer also, also gives the importance for the infiltration capacity of the soil and the permeability. Here perme permeability already I told you clay having low permeable, sand having high permeable. So this type of soil is permeable, non-permeable soils also depends on uh, in, uh, affects the infiltration capacity. So in case of uh, generally clayly soils, the permeability is low, therefore the infiltration capacity is also low. Whereas in case of sandy soils, the permeability capacity of the uh, sandy soils is uh, too high. As compared with clay, then the infiltration capacity is also high. Next property that is uh, a vegetation cover if the soil surface or the catchment area or the basin covered with the uh, vegetation, therefore the infiltration capacity increases as compared to the plain surface. And next one is uh, 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 compaction of the soil. This is you, known to you, general statement. If the soil is at compacted state, uh, the infiltration capacity is reduces because that is in compaction. If that is not compaction, that is free, that is uh, 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 undisturbed, uh, uh, there is uh, 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 the percolation capacity is uh, too high as compared with the uh, compacted uh, state. And next one, availability of uh, storage in the soil stratum. The availability of storage in soil uh, depends upon the thickness of the stratum, porosity and the water content of the soil. I told you, the availability of the storage, the soil is having high capability to store the water. Then the infiltration capacity is uh, too high. The infiltration is more if the available storage is uh, large. Depth of surface retention, this is also a factor, and our temperature of the, of the water. 
Yes, here, if the, once the temperature increases, what is happening? The surface tension or the viscosity of the liquid. Viscosity of the liquid decreases. Once viscosity decreases, the evaporation rate, uh, that the percolation rate also increases. And next one is other factors also, apart from the, all these uh, factors, also affects the quality of water, turbidity of water, salt content, and freezing characteristics of the soil affects the infiltration capacity of the soil. Measurement of infiltration capacity. So the infiltration capacity of the soil can be measured in the field by using infiltrometers that are two types. One is floating type infiltrometer, another one is the rainfall simulator type for infiltrometer. This is the relation between rainfall runoff and infiltration car. Here already I told you by using the Hartnett's equation that gives only the peak uh, infiltration capacity and limiting infiltration capacity. So this gives satisfactory values where the rainfall intensity is always above the infiltration capacity of the soil. At that condition, what is happening? The infiltration capacity of the soil satisfies the infiltration rainfall intensity. Or the rainfall intensity is fluctuates that means below the infiltration capacity of the soil or above the infiltration capacity of the soil at this condition creates a problem because here there is no 100% satisfactory here so here that this is the infiltration capacity of the soil if the rainfall intensity is below the infiltration capacity that means there is no uh, not satisfied the uh, this soil for the infiltration capacity that will create problems so that have introduced uh, two terms uh, one is pi index uh, another one is the w index these two are also gives the infiltration capacity of the soil average rainfall infiltration capacity of the soil right here what is pi index Pi index is an average rainfall intensity above which the rainfall volume is equal to the runoff volume. Above the pi index line, pi index means that is also one type of infiltration capacity. Above the pi index line, the rainfall volume is equal to the runoff volume. Right here, the amount of rainfall in excess of pi index is called the rainfall excess uh, and the corresponding duration is called uh, rainfall excess uh, duration. Here, once you see the diagram here, already I told you at the time of uh, hydrograph preparation, right? This is the one rainfall intensity, time interval, you know the hydrograph is the bar diagram between the uh, uh, average rainfall intensity versus uh, time. Time interval here, equal time interval, this is 0 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, like that, equal time interval. This is the average rain, rainfall intensity, this is the average rainfall intensity, this is uh, as like, uh, there is, uh, this is as like as hydrograph. Here, for example, assume that this is uh, 1 mm per hour, 2 mm per hour, 3 mm per hour, 4 mm per hour, 5, 6, 7, 8 mm per hour. This is the rainfall uh, rates. So here, assume that uh, 3 mm per hour is the infiltration capacity of the soil. 3 mm per hour is the infiltration capacity of the soil. Here, what is happening in the first time, that is 0 to 1 hour, there is no, there is no runoff because the entire rainfall, the entire rainfall water infiltrates into the ground. There is no runoff. There is no water above the ground surface. And in the second span, that is 1 to 2, in this duration also the entire water infiltrates down because the rainfall intensity is less than the infiltration capacity of the soil. And go to in the third span, that is 2 to 3, here having some rainfall excess because the infiltration capacity of the soil is 3 mm per hour. Whereas the infill rainfall intensity is 4 mm per hour, here having some rainfall excess. And also, this duration is known as rainfall excess duration, one rainfall excess duration. Another one is 3 to 4, here is also the rainfall intensity is 6 mm per hour, but the infiltration capacity is only 3 mm. 
pi index is used in the unit hydrograph studies to define the pattern of rainfall excess. What is the rainfall excess already I told you. Right, W uh, minimum index is the lowest value of W index which is observed under very wet condition. That means uh, the soil is uh, completely saturated condition, the infiltration rate is very 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 low. That state is known as uh, W minimum index. Uh, under this condition, retention rate is very low. At that stage, uh, the W index and pi index are uh, almost all equal. And w index, uh, this is also as like as pi index, but this initial losses, this W in index excludes the infiltration losses. Infiltration losses, you know what are the initial losses, one is depression storage, another one is the interception losses. That means the pi index value is as compared with the W index a little bit small because the two are deducted from the pi index, the two means initial losses. Right here, this is the formula for the determination of W index rainfall or precipitation minus runoff and initial losses that means depression and uh, interception storage by T. Here T is the time that is rainfall duration. Right here S is the depression storage. This is the formula used for the determination of W index. W index is essential equal to pi index minus the depression and initial interruption storage. And the pi index, uh, determination of pi index, this is the formula total infiltration minus infiltration due to period of no rainfall excess. Period of no rainfall excess, earlier problem, the no rainfall excess duration is uh, 5 hours. No rainfall excess divided by rainfall excess duration, even in the rainfall excess duration is also 5 hours, already I discussed earlier, right? This is about W index and pi index. So this is the one problem. So here, what they have asked here, a, a 6 hours strong produced rainfall intensities 7, 18, 25, 12, 10 and 3 mm per hour. The rainfall intensity is given 7 mm per hour for a storm of 6 hours. Right? 1 hour interval. Okay now. And basin, our catchment area is 800 square kilometers. The resulting runoff also given that is 2640 hectare meters. Determine the pi index for the basin. Right here they have given an intensity of rainfall, catchment area and runoff. Three hands they have given. They want to, to estimate the pi index. So based on the given runoff, that is 2640 hectares, first that converts into metric cube into 10 for 5, you got the metric cube of runoff. Right? Then you know the area of the catchment that is given in square kilometers that converts into meter square. Then the depth of runoff equal to volume of runoff divided by area. Area given, volume of runoff given, you have the depth of runoff that is equal to 0 0.033 meters. Right? That is converts into 33 mm. This is the runoff depth. Once you know the runoff depth and also you know the rainfall intensity that has given in the problem, then you calculate the pi index value. What is pi index? Already I told you that pi index represents above the pi index line. Above the pi index line, the rainfall is equal to the runoff value. Based on the definition, you are going to estimate the pi index value. Here, the, the runoff depth is 33. So, uh, already I told you how to prepare the hydrograph. This is the hydrograph. This is first one hour, two hour, three hour, one, two, three, four, five, six hours. So, this is the hydrograph. Here they have given one uh, 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 assumed uh, uh, pi index value. So, we know the runoff depth or depth of runoff and uh, intensity of rainfall. So, for example, assume, assume. Pi index is 8 mm per hour, 8 mm per hour, right? Then 
what is uh, here value, our assumed value is pi index is 8 mm per hour. So here the first initially the rainfall intensity is 7 mm per hour. Our assumed pi index is 8 mm per hour. What is the direct runoff? No direct runoff. Here the infiltration capacity of the soil is 8 mm per hour. That is our assumed value. But the rainfall intensity is only 7 mm per hour. The entire water, the entire rainfall intensity, 7 mm per hour, is completely enters into the ground surface. There is no runoff. Then after this is 18 mm per hour rainfall intensity, but our assumed infiltration capacity of the soil is 8 mm per hour. 18 minus 8. 10 mm per hour is the direct runoff or simply known as runoff. Then 25 minus 8, uh, 12 minus 8, 10 minus 8 and uh, here 3. Here only the rainfall intensity is 3 mm per hour. Our assumed infiltration capacity of the soil is 8 mm per hour because the entire water 3 mm per hour water entirely infiltrated into down. Because this value is less than the infiltration capacity of the soil. Here there is no runoff. Here also there is no runoff remaining. So based on this statement, there, there is no runoff here initially and finally there is no runoff. The runoff is, the total runoff is 33 mm. So as per our calculations, we have 33 mm direct runoff. So our assumed value 8 mm per hour is correct.